Hello crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY projects, I have put together some of my favorite DIYs that you can create using the cylinder glass vases from the Dollar Tree. Now these vases are available year round and there are so many ways that you can customize and decorate them. This video will be the perfect one stop shop to inspire you to make some really great projects and the links to the original videos are in the description box. Now as always, I did include the supply list for each project, but you can use that for reference as you gather your supplies. Now, before we start, of course, I have to say hey, hey to all of my subscribers. And if you're a new visitor to my channel today, I hope you consider subscribing as well and stick around to enjoy these crafts and all the different ways that you can customize these for your space. So now let's just jump right into the projects. Now, this retails for $86 on their website, but I thought this would be a great project to make so let's dive into that supply list. You'll need two glass cylinder vases from the Dollar Tree, some gloss Mod Podge, and we'll only need one for this project, some empty toilet paper or paper towel rolls, a strip of black poster or foam craft sheet that's cut about a half inch wide, and some brilliant gold spray paint by Krylon. Now the first thing we wanna do is to grab your two glass vases and we wanna clean them thoroughly with alcohol. Then go ahead and protect your work surface and grab your bottle of Mod Podge. Now we won't need a brush since we'll be using our fingers for this project. You wanna go ahead and squeeze a generous amount of that Mod Podge onto the vase and spread it around with your finger. And then once it's spread around, you want to just tap your finger in that Mod Podge creating a textured surface. Now, once we complete this section, we wanna do a new section, apply another amount, and then keep tapping until the entire vase is completely covered. And then you wanna grab your second vase and you wanna repeat the process. And then you just wanna sit these to the side to dry. And now we can grab our toilet paper and paper towel holders. Now I'm going to be using my paper towel roll and I want to press it in half, forming a crease on both sides. And here I'm using the handle of my scissors to make a more defined crease. And now we can start cutting our pieces. Now I'm going to cut pieces about a quarter of an inch wide. And so now I'm gonna take these outside, give them a generous coat of this Carlon Brilliant Gold Spray Paint. So now our vases are about 95% dry and here you can see the texture that was formed by the Mod Podge. I think they turned out pretty good. And now our petal pieces are dry. Now we also painted that half inch foam strip as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our vase and we wanna wrap that gold strip around the bottom and cut it just a tad longer than the actual fit. And then I'm gonna take some hot glue and I wanna start to apply that strip around the bottom of the vase. And once that's all in place, you're just gonna go ahead and repeat this for the second vase. And here they both are with the strip. So now we can go ahead and start applying our petals. Now on the original design, they had two different size petals. So I'm gonna take about eight of these petals and I wanna cut them down to make them smaller. And now we have all our petals ready to apply to our vases. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and take my vase and I'm going to determine the placement of the petal. And then I'm going to apply hot glue to that bottom half of the petal and I'm going to press it in place and hold it until that glue just grabs on. And then I'm just going to continue to add more petals all the way around, just applying the petals in a random pattern. And here's the complete bottom row of petals. So now I'm going to take those four smaller petals and I'm just going to apply them in the blank areas above that first row. And then I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this for that second vase. And now both vases are completed. And here is that completed project. Okay, we added a candle and this totally completes the look. Now I'm so happy the way the glass turned out and I love how those gold petals tie it all together. Now these retail for $86 on Wayfair and I spent about $5 to create the pair. Can you believe that? What a deal for some toilet paper rolls, right? <laughs> Project, we're going to need two of the seven inch glass cylinder vases from Dollar Tree. Now the first thing we're going to do is we are going to paint those vases and I'll be using this white chalk paint to do that. Now I have made a three inch template with a piece of scrap and we're going to use it to mark around the base of the vase. Now I'm just using a little paint marker to do this just to mark it. And once that one is marked we're just going to repeat this on the other vase. So now what I'm going to do is take some painter's tape and I want to apply it to the vase. I want to line it up with those marks that we just made. And when it's all applied, make sure you do press it firmly into place to prevent any bleed through. Now that both of our vases are ready to paint, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to apply some chalk paint along the tape and I want to finish in a downward motion to avoid any paint bleed. And then just finish up the second vase and sit them to the side to dry. So now that they're dry, we can apply our antique wax to get that wood look. Now using our chip brush, we're just going to apply that antique wax in a downward stroke until the chalk paint is covered. And you can achieve the grain and texture that you like and you could just play around with the finish. And when they're done, just let them sit to fully dry. Now once they are dry, we're going to be adhering, adding our frost to it, but we need to protect our wax finish. So what I did is I applied a piece of painter's tape to some scrap craft paper and I just taped it right on top of the existing tape on the vase. And then I'm just going to fold in the bottom and then secure it with a piece of tape. So now we need to clean that glass thoroughly before applying our frost, so I'm doing this with rubbing alcohol. Now I'm going to apply two coats of this frosted glass spray by Rust-Oleum and I'm going to let it dry completely. And now that they are dry, all we have to do is carefully remove our tape in that center to reveal the little peekaboo glass in the center. And now you can use these in your decor. Now you can decorate these however you like and you can use flameless candles, real candles, or even add a tap light to the bottom to make tiny decorated lamps. And here they are. All I have to say is I love the way that these turned out. Now this is the first time I've tried frosty glass spray and it was so easy to do. Now that trim looks awesome and I love the clear glass strip in the middle that allows you to see inside the vase and it also gives it that modern appeal. 
Let me know in the comments what you think about this project. Now we'll need a 9 inch and 7 inch cylinder glass face from the Dollar Tree. We'll need some 32 inch bamboo skewers from the Dollar Tree. Now note that you can get these from the camping section at the Walmart as well for 88 cents. Now we're going to start with the two vases and what we're going to do is paint them. Now I'm going to paint one with black and one with white in a flat finish by Krylon. Now if you don't want to spray paint, you can just finish them in chalk paint and black acrylic paint. Just make sure you do two coats of each. Now while those dry, we are going to start to work on our bamboo skewers. And what we're going to do is we're going to stain them with some Waverly Antique Wax. Now all I'm going to do is take my little rag here and I am just going to apply the wax to each one of those skewers, making sure that I get it all the way down to the end. And you'll see it has a varied look on the finish, which gives it more character. So now here are all my bamboo skewers all nice and stained, and we're going to let these sit to the side to completely dry. And here are our vases all nice and dry after their two coats of spray paint and our bamboo skewers. So now we're going to start to decorate our vases. So I have a little towel here to keep my vase from rolling around. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take those bamboo skewers and we're going to just start cutting them into varied lengths of pieces. And I'm going to center the pieces vertical on my glass vase. Now there's no rhyme or reason to the lengths that I cut these. Just cut them to the length that your heart desires. Now after you cut your piece, just apply some hot glue to the end of those pieces and apply them vertically on your glass vase. Now we're just going to continue to cut different pieces in different lengths and then adding them to the vase. Now I'm spacing mine about a half an inch apart, but you can space them however you like. And by the way, I am still using my wood stick hot glue and my glue gun, but you could use regular glue or super glue for this project if you like. So we're just going to continue to add those sticks all the way around. Now here are all of my sticks all adhere into place around my vase. And now we're just going to repeat this for our black face as well. And here is the finished product. Now at the top of the vase, you could see where we clip those pieces and they're a different color. So I'm just going to go in with my antique wax and I'm going to take a fine tipped paintbrush and I'm just going to dab that antique wax on the top of each one of those sticks just carefully all the way around. And now that we've dabbed that antique wax on top, it has a blended finish and you just want to repeat this for your other vase until both are done. And when they're dry, you can finally place these out to decorate. Now here are my two vases on display and I absolutely love the result. Now I added some onion grass from the Dollar Tree to these and I love how it blends in to this total look. And these bamboo skewers add a unique element of texture and different sizes gives it a visual appeal. Now you all have to let me know in the comments which version of these vases would you like to display for your home. The supplies we will need are two of these garden fence sections from the Dollar Tree two glass candle holders, some jute twine. Now Dollar Tree has this smaller jute, but I'm gonna use this thicker jute I had on hand, and two seven and a half cylindrical glass vases. Now first we're gonna grab some of the, one of the garden fences and we're gonna remove all of the labels. Now we need it to curve around the vases, so I'm gonna roll it into a curve and then I'm gonna sit it in a hot bucket of water from my tap in order to make it more pliable. So after about 30 minutes or so, I remove the fence. And now you see it's taken on a slight curve. So now I'm able to bend it without breaking and I want to roll it into a tighter roll so it'll fit snug around my vases. 
Now to secure the roll, I'm just gonna take some of this heat proof string or twine and wrap it around the fence. So then what I did is I heated up a large pot of water just before the boiling point, then I turned off the heat. And then I placed my fence in for a few hours while I ran some errands. Now here's my fence after that soak, and now we can remove that twine. And now we have a nice tight roll to use for our project. So now we're gonna grab the vase and determine how much to cut off the, the fence to fit it. Now I wanted my fence to cover about three quarters of the vase. So I went ahead and made my mark And then I went ahead and cut it and copied that cut all the way around the fence. So now that our height is cut, we can go ahead and remove those side tabs for the fence as well. So then we're going to cut that fence right down the center to make two pieces. Now as you can see, each piece will fit perfectly around the glass base. Now to secure the sides of the fence, I will use some of this wire from the hardware section of the Dollar Tree. Or you can use floral wire if you have it on hand. Now all you wanna do is take it and wrap it around four or five times, making sure it's tight, and then twist the ends together. So now here I'm just going to go ahead and test fit it and it looks like it's going to be a perfect fit. Now we're going to repeat this for the other one as well. And then I'll be painting the pieces with this white chalk paint. pieces are painted, go ahead and grab those candle holders and apply two coats of the paint to them. We want to make sure we let them dry completely in between the coats. Now let's not forget those fence pieces we made for the vase too. Make sure you get the front and the back. Now I'll be using acrylic paints in the color Pavement and Wife to do this. We want to take our brush and we want to blend those two colors, dabbing off all of the excess, and then lightly paint the pieces, adding a distressed look. We want to make sure we highlight those creases. And now we're going to add that fence piece to our glass vases. So just slide on a fence piece to each one of the, the vases. Then we can go ahead and do any necessary trimming to even it out. And then I'm gonna start applying E6000 and hot glue and add it to the cut pieces of the fence. Now those fence pieces may not be flush, but we're gonna go ahead and tie some string around it, or we can use a rubber band to make sure it fits tightly against the vase. Now for the bottom part of that vase, we're going to add some twine to match the feet of the tray. I'm just going to start by adding a bit of that adhesive and start wrapping the twine around the bottom. And then I'm going to repeat this for the second vase. So then I'm going to flip them over and I'm going to clean the bottom with some alcohol so we can adhere the candle holders. 
So now we're going to apply a generous amount of that E6000 around the top of that candle holder and follow up with a few dabs of hot glue for that instant hold. And then we're going to place it gently into place. And here is that completed project. Oh my goodness, these pieces turned out so sweet and it looks so much like spring. I love how the rustic finishes of those items perfectly fit into my farmhouse cozy style decor. Adding your theme to customize the look enhances these pieces and I am so in love with the spring lemons right now. Now for this project, we'll need one 9 inch and one 7 inch glass vase from the Dollar Tree. We'll also need a pack of these long bamboo skewers, or you can use the 12 inch ones as well, and they're both available at Dollar Tree. We'll also need some thick jute twine, and I got this from Walmart. And we'll also need some 16 millimeter wood beads that I cut in half with wire cutters. Now the first thing that we're going to do is take our 7 inch vase and determine how far apart we want the bead trim and I determined that it was about 5 inches for this vase. So I'm going to cut two pieces of that jute string a few inches longer than the circumference around the vase. And then I'm going to tape it down on each end ev evenly spacing them out about 5 inches. And now we're going to work on those skewers and the beads. Now I'm going to take one of the skewers and I want to mark it to match the height of the vase. And then I'm going to take my wire clippers and I want to cut it off on that line. Now I'm going to use this piece to cut several more pieces as shown here. So now I'm going to start applying the skewers on that jute string with hot glue and I want to make sure that it has an even overhang on both ends. And then I'm going to take one of those halved beads and I want to apply that glue inside that glue trench and I want to apply it next to the skewer. And then I'm going to repeat this process until I have enough to cover the whole vase. Now I had a couple too many on my row so I'm just going to remove those. And then I'm just going to remove the tape and I'm going to flip it over. And now what I'm doing is checking the adhesion and I'm going to apply hot glue on the back of the skewers to make sure that they're all secure. And once I'm done gluing I'm going to sweep off all of those hot glue webs. Then flip it back over to the back side and now I'm just going to do a test fit. So I'm just going to take my vase and I'm going to roll the cover onto it to make any adjustments as needed. Now if everything looks good, we can go ahead and start to apply that hot glue in small sections at a time and we want to apply it to the vase making sure it's going on even as you roll. And now that it's all applied, you just want to go out and cut off any jute string and now it is complete. And now you just repeat this for your second vase and you have a completed set. Now I've added some candles to my vases and here they are on display. Now I really love the boho look and I think that the wood and bamboo really look great with this piece. Now you can also add greenery as well 
and this would function as the perfect vase. Now, I really hope that you are enjoying these crafts so far, and I just wanted to pop in and let you know that you can follow me on all these platforms below as she so crafty. Now, we're going to need two of these seven inch cylinder glass vases from the Dollar Tree and some of this natural jute twine cord from the Dollar Tree. So we're going to start off with the two vases and go ahead and grab your cord. Go ahead and remove the packaging and find the center of the cord in the roll. Now you want to go ahead and remove the labels on both of your um, vases as well and clean them thoroughly with alcohol or glass cleaner. Now we're going to start adding that jute cord along the side of the vase. We just want to measure a piece long enough to cover the, the side that overlaps the inside and the bottom. So I'm just going to be adding a little bit of that hot glue to the edge of the jute cord, place it on the inside about a quarter of an inch and pull it straight down the side of the vase, trim it down and hot glue it to the bottom of the vase. Now I'm using my Dollar Tree spatula to make sure everything is held into place and it does save your fingers during the process. So the next piece I want to add is on the opposite side of that first piece of jute twine. Just go ahead and apply it the same way. I added glue to the vase instead of the string this time. It just found it a lot easier. And then you want to make sure you overlap the bottom, of course, and make sure it's hot glued right across from that first piece. Now we're going to add two pieces along the sides and this will divide your sections into quarters. So now what we want to do is add a string in between all of those pieces. So just add a dot of that hot glue on the inside edge of the vase, pull it straight down and make sure it's even in between the two strings that you previously added and make sure it's secured to the bottom. Now we're going to repeat this all the way around until we have eight strings. Now, once we have our eight strings, we are going to go around and add another jute string in between those. And then we'll have a total of 16 strings. And then our final round of strings, we're going to place one in between each one of those. And then we're going to end up with a total of 32 strings all the way around our vase. So now I'm going to take some thicker jute twine that I had on hand. Now, if you don't have thicker jute twine, you can use some of the regular jute twine and just double or triple it up. And I'm going to outline the top edge and the bottom edge. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to add hot glue around that top edge and just press that thicker jute twine around the top edge all the way around the vase. Now you do want to make sure when you get towards the end that you pull it taut, make sure the ends butt up evenly and then apply hot glue and press them into place, making sure they do not fray. Now, once that top edge is all lined up, we want to repeat the same thing and do the bottom edge as well. So now that the top and bottom edge are all outlined, we can actually start tying our sections together. So I'm just going to cut a long string about six inches and I am going to weave it under about eight of the strands. Now, once your eight strands are all underneath there, we're just going to tie it up and our tie is about an inch and a half wide. We're going to put a double knot tying that section together right in the center as shown here. Now, we are going um, to continue to do this all the way around our vase, wrapping up eight strands at a time. Now, once we tie all our sections together, we should have four sections of eight strands cinched together in the center all the way around our vase. So now we want to pull those knots really taut and then cut off all of those tails and then just kind of maneuver the knot around to the back side where you can't see it on the front. So once we finish that up, we are going to finish up the bottom. You guys know I love to finish, um, finish off my projects, even the bottom. So I'm going to start rolling up some of that uh, thicker jute twine and kind of like a cinnamon roll pattern and then apply it 
all around the bottom going around in a circle. Now originally my thought was to cover the entire bottom of this vase but I did stop short of the edge about a quarter of an inch because I really do like the uh, strands coming into the center that way. I think it's a decorative accent and it would enable me to use the vase upside down to hold other items and still be showing a decorative part. So this is how I finished the bottoms of it and here is what one of my vases looks like. Just go ahead and repeat this entire process with your second vase until both of them are completed. So now you can add any kind of decorative accent you want. Now I am showing me using real candles. I do suggest that you use uh, battery operated candles for this since we are using hot glue. But I did decide to actually change it up a little bit and add some of these wood half beads. I cut these in half with a wire clipper and I'll link the demo in the upper right hand corner of this video and also in the description box below showing how I did that. So I'm going to take my halved wood beads and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place three of them across the middle of those strands where that knot is tied covering it up. Now I'm just going to apply hot glue to the bead or you can add hot glue to the actual strand and press that bead into place making sure you get three across it. Now once all three beads are in place, this is what it looks like. I'm really loving this look and I'm going to continue this all the way around the vase. And so here's what the vase will look like with all of the beads in place. I am obsessed. I really love it. So now you can decorate it with your candle or whatever you like. Now I'm just going to repeat this for my other vase as well to make sure I have a complete matching pair. And now here are my two vases all completed and I think that these turned out awesome. Now I'm so glad that I decided to go with the beads and they really pull the look into together. Now you don't have to limit yourself to just candles with these. You can also use some faux or real plants inside the vases as well. Now, no matter how you style these, I'm sure there'll be an eye catching decor piece in your home. Now we're going to need some tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree and one 7 inch glass cylinder vase from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so we're going to start out working on our vase for this project. So I have another strip of paper and I'm going to wrap this around my vase in a spiral design um, that I would like to go with. So I'm just wrapping it around till it's nice and snug and then taping it in place where it starts and stops. Now once the design is how you like it, I'm going to take my Sharpie and what I'm going to do is I am going to make a line along that top edge of that spiral band all the way around and this will perform as a guide when adding our blocks. Then we just remove the paper and now our spiral design is on the vase. Now for the blocks, what we're going to do is just stain a bunch of the tumbling tower blocks with our antique wax. And once they're stained, we want to stain all sides but the back. We want to leave the back bare. Now once they dry, we can actually start adding them to the vase. So I'm going to start with that first block at the very top edge of the vase. I'm just going to add a generous amount of that um, wood stick hot glue. You could use Gorilla Glue or E6000. It's totally up to you. And we're going to start that at the very top. And then when we want to add our second one, we are just going to cover just barely the top of that spiral line that we made so it won't show in the final project. It actually acts as a guide. Now we're just going to continue to add our blocks as shown here along that spiral line all the way around the vase until they are all applied. Now here we go. This is how it's going so far. And here is all of the pieces applied to the vase. So now what we're going to do is go in and we want to paint our vase with some acrylic paint. Now I didn't paint the vase beforehand because when you apply the blocks um, on top of paint, it tends to fall off and they don't adhere well. I wanted to adhere them to the glass directly. So now I'm just going in with a fine paintbrush and applying that acrylic paint on the exposed glass all the way around. And here is the first coat. 
So we're gonna go in with a second coat after that dries and here is what the finished look will look like. Now you definitely wanna protect your surface that you painted. So then just use some Mod Podge to go over all of the painted surfaces, let that dry and then now your vase is ready to display. And you guys, here is the final look and I love it. Now I think that the wood stained blocks and the black vase look so amazing together and it makes a really awesome decor piece for faux or your real plant. For this project, we will need two black candle holders from the Dollar Tree and two of the shorter glass vases from the Dollar Tree as well. Now the first thing we're going to do is clean the outside of our vases thoroughly with rubbing alcohol to remove any of the residue. Now I will be painting the vases and I will be using white chalk paint to do this. Now I'm going to be applying two coats of this chalk paint to the vases and I want to make sure that they completely dry in between the coats to prevent any cracking. Now you wanna make sure both jars are completely covered and it's a nice even finish. Now once both coats are dry, I'm gonna take a piece of painter's tape and my ruler and I'm gonna mark it in one inch increments. And then I'm gonna take that tape and I wanna wrap it around the vase close to that top edge. And then I'm going to transfer those marks to the vase with a pencil. Now once all the marks are there, I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to make one of the marks at the bottom of the vase. And then I'm going to take that same piece of tape and move it to the bottom of the vase, aligning it with that mark. And then I'm going to repeat the transfer of those one inch marks all the way around. So once all the marks are done, we're going to take our ruler and line up the marks end to end and we're going to make long tick marks about an inch long from end to end on the vase. And here is what it should look like. Now you want to repeat this all the way around the vase. And here are all of our tick lines. So now we're gonna add a design. Now for this first column, I'm adding three arrows up and three arrows down and repeating that pattern. And then for that second column, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be adding four horizontal lines, 12 dots, and then four vertical lines in 12 dots in a repeated pattern. Now I'm gonna repeat this all the way around the entire vase. Now since I had an odd number of columns, two of the same patterns will end up touching, but it's no big deal. And then I'm gonna repeat this process for the other vase. And here are both vases with the completed patterns. Now I'm gonna go over the patterns with the Sharpie. Now to protect our design, I will be using this matte Mod Podge. Now I just wanna apply that Mod Podge to the vase in long continuous strokes along the length of the vase. And then you want to sit the vases out to dry completely and when they are dry we can add those candle holder bases to the bottom. So I'm going to be using hot glue to apply these in case I want to remove the bases in the future before a permanent hold. Make sure you use E6000. Now I want to apply glue around the top of that candle holder and then place the vase on top pressing it into place. 
Now you just want to repeat this for both vases and then you are complete. So now we can place our creations on display. Now I really love how these turned out. Now the mud cloth style print on these vases really turned out great and it really looks like high end cloth design. Now you can place a battery operated candle inside for a soft glow or even a real or silk greenery if you're going for a more organic look. You will need two cylindrical glass vases in different sizes, two candle holder bases of your choice, a star shaped tree topper, and a roll of diamond wrap. The first thing we want to do is to remove all of the packaging from the star. Then we want to go ahead and separate the two sides of the star using a flat tip screwdriver. This should pop apart fairly easily. You'll want to decide which parts of the star you would like to use in your design. Taking a pair of wire clippers, we want to start snipping off the areas that we will not be using on our project. With a smaller pair of wire snippers, we can get into those tight corners and trim off the burrs. Once you have separated your pieces, clean up and snip off any parts you do not wish to have in your design. And here are the final pieces that I will be using. Take your vase and measure around it to determine how much diamond wrap that we'll need to wrap around it. Cut your diamond wrap to size and grab a piece of your star. Your design will have a star piece right above the diamond wrap, so we want to get the measurement in order to center this design on the vase. Once your measurement is determined, you can start to add the diamond wrap. You could use Gorilla Glue and also hot glue to temporarily hold it in place. We want to go ahead and repeat this for the second vase as well. Now grab all your star pieces. You will be applying four star pieces to each vase. You can use the same Gorilla Glue hot glue combination in order to adhere these to the vase as needed. Here we go, perfect. Looks good. Go ahead and repeat this for your second vase. Next, you'll be adding your candle holder bases. Apply a generous amount of Gorilla Glue around the base edge and place the vase on top. When you do this, you want to apply gentle pressure to make sure it adheres securely.
And here it is. The pear is fully dry and adhered. I just love the way that these turned out. Who knew you could do this out of a tree topper star? Amazing. They look so expensive. Yes, each one of them costs less than $3 to make. But of course, you can customize it any way you want to. You can add filler, candles, whatever you like. You can make it your own. cylinder glass vases from the Dollar Tree and the remaining two single strands from these nautical rope pieces. So what we want to first do is take our two vases and we are going to be measuring them at the four inch mark from the bottom. Now I'm just using my chalk marker to do this and I'm measuring at the four inch mark all the way around the bottom of the vase. Now, once that mark is on both of the vases, I'm going to take some of my electrical tape or you can use painter's tape. I like electrical tape because it fits curves a lot better and it's a lot more snug. So I'm just laying that electrical tape around the vase, making sure I line it up with the lines and dots that we just made. Now, once that's done, just repeat that on your second vase. Now, clean off the bottom part of the vase because we are going to prepare this for paint. Now to paint these um, faces at the bottom, what we're gonna be doing is using some white chalk paint. So I'm gonna take my paint and I wanna start by adding the paint around that bottom edge of the tape and the glass. And this kind of uh, creates a seal between the two pieces. And then I'm gonna continue to paint our vase about two thirds of the way down. Now we don't need to paint all the way down because we will be adding that rope trim to the bottom. Now I'm going to repeat this for both vases and we want to let it dry and we want to put two coats in between. So now that our two coats are completely dry, we can go ahead and remove our tape. Now you can see the clean line that this electrical tape has left and now we can move on to the next part which is adding our rope. Now we're going to add one strand for each one of the jars and we're going to be wrapping it around the bottom. So of course we're going to end up securing that end with the hot glue first and then applying it along the bottom edge of the vase. So just place some of that hot glue right on the, the vase and then add your rope right at the very bottom. Now we're going to continue wrapping this around until we have the entire strand of that rope piece on the vase. And once we reach the very end, we do want to make sure the ends line up. And <laughs> I was so lucky the end of this rope actually ended up where I started vertically. So this was perfect. So we're just going to hot glue that end right into place. And now I'm going to actually add that extra piece of leather trim that we trimmed off earlier in the DIY project for the planters. And we're just going to add it to the top of this rope. So I'm just going to trim it down to size and then start adding my hot glue to that leather like trim, starting at the same seam where the rope began and the rope ended. Just apply some hot glue behind that little leather piece and start wrapping it around the bottom of the vase. And then just press it into place until the ends meet. And then you just want to repeat the process for your second vase. And so here are your vases and you're ready to decorate any way that you like. So here are my two vases on display as candle holders. Now I really love it. Now I added some paper filler topped with black rocks and candles from the Dollar Tree to get this look. Now these make a great coordinating pieces with the planters as well. And here is the version as a plant display. Now, I added a couple of fern bunches from the Dollar Tree to finish off this look. Now, I have to say, I love all of these projects today, but you guys have to let me know which one of these DIYs today was your favorite. Let me know in the comments below. 
Listen, I hope that you all enjoyed seeing these creations again, or for some of you for the very first time. I hope that you're inspired to create your own glass vase creations using the different supplies from the Dollar Tree presented in this video. Now, if you love DIYs on a budget, please give this video a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Craft DEE on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Now, if you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below or just click on my She's So Crafty logo on your screen and make sure you hit that bell to be notified when the next DIY goes live. It's absolutely free. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.